If you've ever watched Metroid Dread speedrunners, you have seen them pull off some amazing tricks. My name is Oso, and welcome to another how-to guide for Metroid Dread. Today, I'm going to show you how to pull off one of these tricks, the pseudo wave beam. This technique allows you to shoot through walls and hit bomb blocks earlier than intended. We'll be going over the different pseudo wave beam techs and locations to use them. Let's get started. In order to do the first wave beam tech, we must practice the slide jump. Press ZL while running to have Samus slide and jump during the slide animation. The timing is generous, but practice to execute the slide jump quickly so that Samus jumps at the first sight of these diagonal lines. Then, practice shooting mid-air. Once you have mastered the slide jump, we will attempt our first skip. The first pseudo wave beam is at the start of the game. The intended route is to slide through this gap, shoot the bomb block above you, and proceed towards the first Emmy. Instead, we are going to shoot the bomb block through the pillar and skip the Emmy entirely. Perform a slide jump towards this gap. As you approach the rock corner, shoot towards the bomb block. Your shot will pass through the pillar and hit the bomb block when done correctly. Note, if you slide through the gap, you will have to reset to the last checkpoint to try again. Repeat this for a total of three shots until the bomb block is glowing orange like this. Do not shoot it a fourth time. It will explode and collapse the ceiling, killing you instantly. Now perform a final pseudo wave beam at the further corner. This one is more difficult because you fire straight right, your shot will go up. Therefore, aim slightly down and to the right in order to hit the bomb block. This may take a few tries. I prefer to slide to the left for this one. Once you have hit the bomb block a final time, congratulations! You have officially skipped the first Emmy. The next pseudo wave beam skip is more challenging, but worth the practice. It comes immediately after skipping the first Emmy. Doing this will ignore the Emmy zone cinematic as well as open up a quicker path to Corpheus. See the bomb block above you that will open up the ceiling. Use the natural slope of the rocks to guide your shot. Perform a slide jump and pull back to the right to aim a shot through the ceiling to hit the bottom of the bomb. This is a very difficult trick and will take several attempts. Hit the bomb block twice in order to blow it up. Once it's done, head up and towards the left to enter the Emmy zone or to the right for Corpheus. Now we will learn a different pseudo wave beam technique. Slide into the wall and immediately pull to the opposite direction of the slide then pull again towards the original direction of the slide. In real time, we are sliding, then pulling a double reverse direction to face the wall again. When done correctly, Samus spins 360 degrees while clinging to the wall. Release your shot during the second turnaround animation to shoot through the wall. This technique will allow you to skip the water boss, Drogaga and Berenia. From this location, use Charge Beam. Perform the slide double turnaround and aim your Charge Beam slightly downward. I prefer to start my run on the other side of the recharge station as to not accidentally engage it. Two charge shots will destroy the bomb block. You can also use the same technique to reverse pull this grapple block in Hanubia. Perform the slide double turnaround as before, but use the grapple beam. The grapple beam will pass through the block and grip it from the other side. I go into greater detail for this pseudo wave beam skip in another video, but here are the essentials. Perform a running counter to put Samus in a lunging stance against this wall to the right. Aim a charge shot towards the floor ever so slightly left. Wait for the flame crab in the room below to touch the golden horn with its back top tendril. Release the charge shot by going into Morph Ball. You can check out my other video in the description below for a more in-depth guide on how to perform this pseudo wave beam skip. And that is all the pseudo wave beam skips used in speedrunning as of right now. If you found this video helpful, please consider giving it a like and subscribing to my channel for more how-to guides in the future. I'm Oso, and thanks for watching.